okay now i'm trying to show the coconut huh? so this is coconut so coconut is also monoecious so the male and female flower are different in the same plant but in the same inflorescence here so you can see this is the female the female are looks like that all all these are female so these those will be converted to coconut and this all these are female so now this flower is at the anthesis period so you can say i want to show you the many opening you see this is a female flower and here is a new opening the whitish color shiny you can see very shiny here eh? at the top you can see this is the three three lobed stigma here so you see the white is shiny they are already very shiny so that means they are now at the period of anthesis and so and you can see there are so many insects here and so all these are these all these are male flower all these are male flower huh? i can show you you can see properly this all these are a stigma so if you can see so there's so many anthar so many is the the powdery the for the male flowers are open and all these are you can see this one um, huh? this this I, i'm touching here i'm touching here this all these are the pollen anther and pollen so all these are male all these are male. So, so you can see so many insect so they are helping pollination usually honeybee ants and so many other insects also so compared to the female flower there are so many male so they want to ensure the huge number of uh, successful pollination so you can see this is this is the opening huh? this is the opening 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 of the female flower at the last the shiny and three lobed so from the the, the anther will be inserted here by the insect so suppose this if you, this is the this is the pollination so when it does here this is the stigma this is the pollen so this is the pollination so if you want to do the hybridization for that so we have to back the male the female sorry the back the female we have to back before the anthesis period so now already they are anthesis so we can identify anthesis by the shiny uh, this is the very shiny you can see the this one very shiny so they are the ready to receive the pollen so before that so if i if i show another one so you can see that one see so this is about to open the stigma opening is about to open not yet open so this one is not in the anthesis period so by this you can see already so this is actually the the you can see the black this is not the mature this is the opening of the stigma you can see from here also so this is the this is the so you can see this looks like powdery here whitish color so this is the stigma opening so at the beginning they become very shiny very shiny so from this shininess we can realize that they are the stage of anthesis so if you want to make the hybridization so before anthesis period we have to bag the female so and the next day or next morning you have to open it and you have to do the pollination from the desired parent you have to pollinate using the cotton bud or you can open we can you can, you can remove the male flower see this huge pollen you can see in my hand in my hand in my finger there are so many pollen here so in this way you can do the pollination as they are self pollinated because from the same inflorescence male and female in the side by side but if you want to do the hybridization then you have to bag the female and you have to do the pollination by this way very small a very small coconut plant inside the campus uh, in front of the dr james house this is plant is uh, the one of his dr james so i am just honored from here so here have two sides the, he has planted two two coconut one is here and another one is that side so this one so hopefully it will be helpful to know the hybridization and pollination of the coconut